It's just yeah. a concept that I'm not the doer because be, not being the doer, the I is still there. The I is the problem. If I'm doing or I'm not doing, the I is the problem. They're just flip sides of the same coin. Is one better than another? Not at all. It's like, it's completely insignificant. It's the same thing, just turned on its side. It's the I who is doing or the I who is not doing. That's the problem. The I was doing or the I was receiving yes. grace, huh? Yeah, or whatever. The I yeah. is grace. There is no I. There is no I that is separate from this mass of energy which we call creation. Yeah. There is no I. How can we know that? Okay, let's, let's, here's your a question. Your mind can't. Now. You can tell yeah, your, your mind, mind can't. Okay. No, you can tell your yeah, mind but you got, something beyond it. It seems like you have to wait for a big yes, you know. Somehow there has to be a big yes, you know. And then all, there's lots of little no's, you know. But somehow you're saying, well, that wasn't a big yes, you know. And then because you, you said you had a big yes. So you cheated. I, I, <laughs> I didn't have the yes. Oh, yeah. The I breaks and oh, yeah. the yes is there. Oh, yeah. Okay, what you are is not I. So the I has to break in terms of the business of mind or the, 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 the identification with roles we were speaking about earlier. Those, those things that create the I, the me and the mine and my life and Jack's life and Jack's do, 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 all this self-important rubbish. As that breaks, something that's left is always sitting there waiting. It's not an I. It has no sense of being separate. But it's absolute. It has no concept. But everything comes out of it. Every concept comes out of it. Stillness and silence comes out of it. But it is beyond both. Now, the mind will say, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't see it, therefore it can't exist. The mind is the thing that is taking your attention from knowing that it is so. So any concept, anything conceptual or, or intellectual... Too late. Rubbish. ...is already... already is not going to lead you anywhere no. to, to no. that... No, because to the demise to... of that intellectuality. Bingo, because there has to be an I in order to have a concept. So it's already too late. You're already two steps away. You're already well into distraction. And if distraction is going on, well, awareness is in, is in mind. It's playing that game. Until that crashes, what you are cannot... sits waiting for you. It just sits waiting. But you can't bring your mind into it to experience it. And that is the biggest downfall. That's why desires and why, uh, well, you know, practices and, and doing, you know, doing, doing spirituality yeah. can't work because the doing of it is already, it's two steps away. One is that there's a concept there and the second is that the eye is there having the concept. But, you know, there are very few who can actually understand that and not do the spiritual path in order to have a, a total intuitive understanding of it. Because it's like, oh yeah, okay, I got the, the knowledge that the spiritual path will not take me to the goal. Okay. Most people say, oh great, I don't have to do all this old penance and pilgrimages and whatever version of it is. You might have to do it in order to really, really, really know that that is the truth. That there is no attainable goal at the end of spiritual practice. You can't, we can't just grab a theory. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So let's just keep on living because I can't do anything about it anyway. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit see? more intricate no, than that, yeah, you know, but I no mean, it, couldn't there be some kind of a uh, settling into innocence? Sure, sure. Settling into innocence or something, sure. or just respecting innocence. Respecting, respecting innocence. Respecting is too much again. Oh, yeah? Because respecting no, but, is an attitude, so yeah. they've got an well, eye who's okay, doing the right I thing. I respect, I respect you, but I mean respecting in the sense that noticing innocence. Yeah. Noticing that. Yeah, yeah, how about being it? Well, noticing that you are. Then there is something observing what you are. Yeah. Now we're in the game again. Yeah. Now there is you But I mean, there's awareness you. of being, isn't there, or isn't there? Does there always have to be something outside of being to see being? No, then there's awareness? two. There's two. If you've got two, yeah. we've lost it. The, the being is complete in itself. But the mind is so used to two, because the mind looks at, the mind explains. There's always two, always two, as long as there's mind. There's me and something. So then when I say that awareness of being, is that already a, a non-sequitur? Too, too late. That's right. It's too late. Yeah. Because the mind is practicing awareness of the purest thing it has decided exists. Uh -huh. Do you see? So yeah. now we've got layers already of mind trying to control it and feel it and decide that this is right and that this is being. There is nothing that can be aware of being. 
being exists and is total and complete underneath. But the mind doesn't like it because the mind has to be dissolved in order for it to manifest. Now, you say that with such confidence. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... it is so. It is so. But already I'm talking in concepts. So I've lost it now. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see it's, it's, it's a magical game, really, you know? You just got to keep your mouth shut. That's the only way of, yeah. of the purity being, being what it is, you know? It's a bummer, you know? It's, it's yeah. a bummer. It's going to play games with you all the time, you know? And that's, and that's the joy of creation. That's what keeps this energy moving. That's what keeps the game going on, you know? The idea that, that there's something to understand, some place to get. But understanding happens. The mind eventually yields to it. It doesn't relax and go to rest. Mind. Identification with thought stops. There is no me having thoughts. But thoughts pass by, like a radio on in the background. But actually, an hour later, you're like, oh, the radio is on. It's like that. That there's no tuning in at all or aligning with what the story of your thoughts are. That stops because there is no I who can align with the thoughts. There is no individual I. It's just a thought process that, that, that has two aspects. It's identifying and there is a sense that the one who is identifying is an individual woman with a life. Not so. Not so. There is only energy moving through form. But we love to experience and we love to believe we exist because we don't want to die, we want to live, we want to experience, go places, look at it. The pull, the addiction, the desire to experience is huge, but it fades. But it fails, you say. It fades. Oh, it, it fades. fades out. Oh, the desire fades? Oh, yeah. So it has to. Every desire fades. Spiritual practitioners often repress desire. Okay, you learn about desire and you learn the pull, but by gum, if there's something you've got to do, you're going to have to do it. It's a spinning out, you know, it fades. There's, a, there, there's a, an, il, an illuminating point of like, every experience is empty. Even, even the most wonderful sex is actually only as good as that moment. And then, well, where's the next one? And where's the next one? And where, it's always about more, always. And if a desire is satisfied, it's temporary. It's always temporary. What you're saying is so rich, you know. I mean, I, I am on overwhelm. <laughs>